Welcome to another math prompt of the week. Consecutive integer sum to 63. Let's talk about it. For this question, it says that in how many ways can 63 be written as the sum of consecutive integers where all integers in the sequence are less than 63? And the options are A, 5, B, 6, C, 8, and D, 10. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Now we suppose that there are n consecutive integers. Now in this case, all the integers in the sequence are less than 63. So it means that n must be at least 2. So n here must be at least 2. So we we'll separate into two cases. Case 1, n is odd. And case 2, n is even. When n is odd and the sum of n constant integer is 63, meaning that the average is an integer. And also 63, so it can be written as 1 times 63, 3 times 21, and 7 times 9. Since 63 over n is an integer, meaning that n can be equals to 1, that is not possible. Since n is at least 2, n has to be equal to 3, 7, 9, 21, or 63. So we know that for case 1, there will be 5 possible cases. And for case 2, n is an even number with the sum of n consecutive integer equals to 63. It means that 63 over n plus half is an integer. And therefore, 1, 2, 6 plus n over 2n is an integer. It means that 1, 2, 6 over n plus 1 over 2 is an integer. Hence, 1, 2, 6 is equal to 2 times 63, that is 3 squared times 7. Since n is even number, it must have 2 as a factor. n will equal to 1, 1 times 2, that is 2, uh, 3 times 2, that is 6, 7 times 2, that is 14, 9 times 2, that is 18, 21 times 2, that is 42, but it cannot be equal to 63 times 2. Otherwise, one of the integers will be equal to 63. So in case 2, we have another 5 possible values of n. So overall, we have 10 of them. Now, to convince you a little bit more, let us list out the sequences for each of the n. So for n equals to 3, 63 over 3 is equal to 21. That will be the average. So these are the three integers. For n equals to 7, this is 9. Then we have 3 here and 3 there. That is 10, 11, 12, 8, 7, 6. For n equals to set, uh, for n equals to 9, this will be equal to 7. Then you will have 4 here, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this is 6, 5, 4, 3. Now it's more interesting when n equals to 21. Because when n equals to 21, this is 3. And we need to have 10 numbers here. 4, 5, all the way to 13. And here will be 2, 1, 0, negative 1, all the way to negative 7. And when n equals to 63, the average is equals 1. 
we have 31 number here and 31 numbers here and it will be equal to 2 all the way to 32 and this is 0 negative 1 until negative 30 so this interesting to note that there is a relation between n is odd and n is even for the method that I discussed I consider whether n is odd or n is even for some of the method you may consider all the n constitutive integers are positive once you get that you can also get the other half where included negative what I'm trying to say here is when n equals to 2 it is actually equal to 31 and 32 and the 31 32 is actually similar to this form because the sum of all number here actually equals to 0 so for the rest I will show you in the next slide If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And for now, let's look at other people's solution. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.